Hi guys! Today I'm going to talk to you about the new movie Alice Darling. Now this film stars Anna Kendrick and it hits theaters exclusively on January 20th. And so is this worth spending money to go to theaters and see it? Mm, I would wait until it comes out on streaming. Now I adore Anna Kendrick. I think she's adorable. I think she's really talented. I love her work, but Alice Darling just falls flat in so many different ways. Still worth checking out. I just would not pay money to go see it in theaters. That's my personal opinion. Now, this film kind of follows her and this boyfriend, Simon. And if you've seen the trailer, you know that things are uh, really not what they seem. I mean, he is very much controlling to the point where she like rips her hair out um, and hides in the bathroom and all sorts of crazy things. Now, it looks like... Uh, maybe things are going to get intense and it's going to be like a thriller and maybe people are going to get like murdered and stuff's going to go crazy and that never happens. It almost feels like three quarters of a movie, right? You really want things to get to that insane step and uh, obviously that's not like a good thing. Like, yes, I'm wishing for death and murder, but like... I don't know, it just felt like we didn't get a full story. Now, I will say this is very important. Um, obviously, these things are very important to see on screen and to open up conversations surrounding them um, because she is being abused, right? Whether it's, it's not really physically, but emotionally, she is abused. She is beat down. The things she says about, like, basically walking on eggshells around him all the time, afraid to tell him... Things like she's going to hang out with her girlfriends and go to like dinner with them or have drinks with them. Like weird stuff like that. Like obviously that's uh, someone who's been a victim, right? That's that behavior. Um, and so we do get that. And again, it's very, very important. I love that her friends kind of come around her and support her and stand with her um, and protect her best they can, even when they have their ups and downs. Um, and again, it's, it's an important message. It's important things to see on screen. Now, definitely can be triggering for those who have been in abusive relationships. So please, please, please keep that in mind, um, whether it's physical or emotional. It really is a lot like watching what uh, this character Alice goes through, which by the way, Anna Kendrick does a phenomenal job with the character, with the script that you're given. The problem is, like I said, it just kind of feels like we never get there. There's almost never really a climax. Like there's a real little bit of one and then you want more, 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 more. And that's kind of where they end things. Now it does leave it off with like, not really a cliffhanger, but like, oh, what could happen? We don't know type of thing. Uh, there is like this sort of rebirth beautiful, powerful moment, um, but it just feels like, oh, that's it? Like, it's only an hour and 27 minutes, and I know, I have said, like, why are movies so long? Why are they longer than two hours? But you could have thrown, like, another 15 minutes at this. It still would have been an hour and 45 minutes, and maybe we would have just gotten a little bit more. Uh, again, very powerful, very important message. Anna Kendrick is phenomenal, um, and, and I like the premise of the story. I just felt like we didn't ever get that big moment that I really wish we had. There are lulls. It gets a little slow at times and, and the pacing isn't great. So for a short movie like this, it just was meh. Like, sure, should you check it out? Yeah, if you like this sort of thing, if you uh, like her as an actress, like, yeah, check it out. Honestly, I would not pay to go see it in theaters, though. Um, it just didn't really hit that much for me. So it is in theaters January 20th. I'm sure it will be coming to streaming probably within a, a month or so after that. And maybe that's when you check it out. You guys let me know your thoughts about Alice Darling. Is this a film you were looking forward to seeing? Listen, don't let me sway you. Still go see it in theaters if you really, really wanted to check it out in theaters. Um, but let me know what you thought about it. Uh, overall, I give it a two and a half out of five. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, I wasn't mad that I watched it, but I was like, give me a little bit more, a little bit, 15 minutes. That's all it needed. 15 more minutes at the end and maybe a little bit more of a climax. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. You guys can follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm Mama's Geeky over there. You can also check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much to all my monetary supporters, my members, and my Patreons. Love you guys.